I just dropped off my bag, 4,000 won, it's like $4. Had all my Marco Polo money in it and my laptop here at the uh, shipping company. It looks like they do shipping too. Maybe if you overpack, they'd ship something somewhere. Um, our guitar girl here too. So I bought an express train ticket. It's gonna take me straight to Seoul Station. It was like 9,500 won, which is pretty cheap, cheap. It's like less than $10. I don't know how much the local one was, but it's worth it, 45 minutes on the train. Get into the station, transfer to the green line, get over to Jamshil. It's really cool to enter this city at dawn like this. No one else is awake, but I feel fully alert. Got to transfer one station over to the green line, then it looks like a bunch of stops to get to Gambiang. I'm thinking I'll check out what the bus situation back to the airport is from Gambiang. It's a little weird. I, I can smell the city. It's bringing back all these nostalgic memories of the smell of summer. And I kind of arrived around this time, end of fall, or beginning of fall, and uh, I haven't smelled these smells in years. It's weird, but I know it when I smell it. Back at my old station, nothing's changed. Still got that blind musician guy. Same businesses. I'm gonna go into the bus terminal, get a ticket back to Incheon. I just ate the mandu here at my old local mandu go-to and you know it's like so-so. You could get these mandu probably at Incheon Airport but I chose to come across town to Gangbyang, my old yuk. Went back to my old rice shop, my bibimbap shop and got some jamshi kimbap and it was the same woman little older woman, Mama-san, kind of Ajuma, who was always flirtatious. And she didn't remember me, but when I walked in, she gave me these coquettish eyes. It's like, I hadn't, even, I hadn't thought about her. I, I kind of remember there were some old ladies there. I hadn't thought about her, but the minute I saw her, I knew it was her. It was so funny. And what makes the Jim Jabong such a perfect layover activity is that on the ground floor it's got hot cold so I'm gonna do hot cold cyclings like jacuzzi then cold plunge and sauna then cold plunge and then on the floor above you get a pair of pajamas that you can wear uh, guys get blue and girls get pink pajamas and you just can chill out and nap play on your phone read watch TV but mainly for a layover and nap so I just got out of spa land it was nice, nice and relaxing. Went upstairs after the bath and napped. After waking up from the nap though, the jet lag kind of started to kick in. I'm feeling sleepy now. It's like 11 a.m. Time to get back on the bus back to the airport. Could definitely have used a few more Z's. So, I made it back to Incheon. No problem. Got like four hours till my flight to Tashkent successful layover. I lived in Seoul for a year, six years ago, and since living there I've been back a couple times on layovers. And some of the things have stayed the same, like the restaurants I used to go to and the women working at them, and then some things were different, like new buildings, new storefronts. And I was thinking like, if you visit a place infrequently, you get a feeling for the pace of change in that place. It was like, each layover was a snapshot, and from looking at the change between those snapshots, I can judge the velocity of change in that city.